guess what? Success story of someone manifesting their SP. And guess what? She even tells us what her block was and how she overcame it. So I intend that this story is going to help each and every one of you guys manifest your SPs. So let's talk about that. Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. So today, you know what? I've got a success story from actually one of my other coaches, Megan. She's been coaching uh, this client for, she actually got her SP back. And I think it's amazing. And so, you know, I really want to share this story because, and I'm going to read it word for word, because the way that this lady worded it is absolutely dead on. And, you know, I just, yeah, I just have to share it. So, you know what? Also, just before I do, if you haven't already subscribed, definitely subscribe. Hit the bell icon below because I do put out new videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. Each one of them designed to help you create something wonderful in your life. And also, Megan is available for um, video coaching as well. Uh, part of the reason why, well, we've she's always been doing the email coaching. She's very, very good at it. So now she's doing uh, video coaching as, you know, there is a wait list and I've trained her and she's good as you're going to see by this story. <laughs> so, so definitely in the link below, you can sign up for her as well. So she says, so Megan, this is uh, this success story for one of Megan's clients. Oh my God, it finally happened. Everything clicked the other day when I realized that I am a God of my own universe. This is so important guys. The thing that I had been blocking me the whole time was a story that I was that I was holding of myself. It was the bad things. It was that bad things could happen to me. I'm not worthy of what I want, etc. When I changed that story on Monday to being God of my universe, everything changed. I know that Joe and I are 100% married and that it is done and has no choice but to manifest into my physical reality. The best part is I got confirmation of this when he texted me and told me I was the only person he wanted to be with. And he invited me to spend the weekend with him. I leave for New York tomorrow and to, to go visit him and we're staying together. I'm literally so grateful for all of this. Literally a miracle. <laughs> I think she says, goes on to say, I think the turning point for me was knowing that if I'm God, nothing bad can happen to me. I always get what I want. Only good can come to me and that I can, uh, I can and should have everything I desire. I finally decided that it was done. I was his wife now, and that was it. The whole time I had been making of the mistake of thinking that I needed to change my story of only him, which I did that. Uh, it was done, or um, I did that. Um, but the reason why I wasn't seeing it is because the story of myself didn't change. Once I fixed that, it was done. It, I think it's also important for people to realize that their imagination is literally more real than the external world, since what we're seeing now is just a shadow of our previous thoughts. So that is how I got to the place of knowing it was done, because in my imagination, which is God, I am his wife, so it must be true, and I'm already seeing it reflected back to me, and nothing can stop it now. I still tell myself every day that the external world is just an illusion and that my imagination is the only thing that really matters. Yeah, and she goes on to say, thank you, Megan, so much for your help. I really appreciated it all. The guidance has been much appreciated and so glad it finally all clicked. And I was I was able to discover what had been blocking me the whole time and remove that block. You know what? <clears throat> I mean, this is key, right? So changing the story about ourselves that we are good enough, changing the story about the other person, and then being on a mental diet, realizing, you know, and only letting the thoughts of things that we want to create come into our reality. I am. I'm, of course, going to leave her name um, private for privacy reasons. However, this success story is actually 
posted on the Facebook group as well. She's given us permission to do that. So you know what? You know who you are. I hope your weekend in New York was amazing <laughs> because you do deserve it. Each and every one of you are gods of your universe, okay? Everyone is you pushed out and you create how everything in your world interacts with you because this is your world. This is your life. You are God of the domain that you see in front of you. Everything in your reality is projected from the back of your mind out. So you can be, do, and have anything you want, whether it be a specific person, whether it be your own private jet, whatever you want, you can actually have. So anyways, you know what? If you are interested in coaching with Megan, she's been filling up extremely fast and you can check the links down below. Definitely check it out with her. She knows what she's doing. I trained her. Everyone has me pushed out. So of course she knows what she's doing. And I mean, yeah, there's been lots of great success stories, um, you know, coming from her as well. So yeah, thank you guys for liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing. You guys are all amazing and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.